Connect a water barrel to the water inlet with a short hose and connect the mains water supply to the water barrel. The green tap should be turned off. Turn on the water supply and let the barrel fill completely. You should have a choice of three nozzle sizes. We recommend the 6mm nozzle. Screw into place with the cap. Next, connect the nozzle to the hoses. The material hose is fixed with a cam lock coupling. To connect the air hose, pull the collar of the connector back. Push onto the nozzle connection and then release the collar. Connect the air hose to the compressor in the same way. Unscrew the blanking plug for the remote. Push the remote plug into place and secure with the twist collar. Select your chosen gear. We recommend Tortoise. Unlock the electrical panel using the key attached. And select your speed setting on the dial in the top right hand corner. We recommend speeds 3 or 4. Connect the large 110 volt cable to the main control panel socket, connecting the other end to a suitable 110 volt supply. Once everything's connected, pull up the red button on the compressor to turn it on. This will allow it to start building pressure. Then turn the isolator on the side of the machine to on. This switch controls the flow of water. Switch it to the left when spraying and to the right for cleaning. With the switch to the right, turn on the green tap for 10 seconds to bleed the machine. Then return the switch to the left position. Place the thin blue water pipe into a bucket and set the water flow rate using the gear and speed selectors. We recommend you set the machine slightly higher than the bag's instructions for now and fine tune later. Press and hold the button shown to establish and adjust the flow. Then attach the blue water pipe to the mixing chamber. Finally, remove the plug from the bottom of the mixing chamber and start the water flow with the button. When water reaches the plug hole, release the button and carefully reinsert the plug.